salmon fishing is that exciting i tell you what when you put 200 boats 400 fishermen all on the same body of water to go after the same kind of fish now that's exciting there's no question about it welcome to the fishing show i'm musky mike i tell you what what we want to do today is we want to take a look at tournaments today we're going to choose walleye tournaments on the illinois river one of the things that we want to find out is one what does it do to the fishery there's a lot of pros and cons and what these tournaments would do to a fishery we're going to talk to the dnr and find out a little bit about that we're also going to find out a little bit about who is this fisherman what kind of conditions they go through we we also want to find out from what the pros do and what they've learned that you can share with you and I from the tackle, from the proper techniques and other things that the walleye pro has done to help put more fish in the boat for you and I. But when you put 200 fishermen, 400 actually, on a particular body of water, it takes a lot of organization. There's no question about it from landing the boat, launching the boat, keeping track of the fish. It's, it's a really, really a project. Well, we had the opportunity to cover the MWC not too long ago, and Jay Angel, our field staff, got a chance to talk to Bill Goretti a little bit about the tournament and how he runs it. Bill's our tournament director for the MWC. Let's join Jay and Bill now for what really goes through setting up a tournament of this size. And on paper it always looks good, but you just don't know until you actually get to doing it. But this morning we had all the boats, all 200 boats in the water and, and gone in probably uh, an hour's time. 200, that's down from last year, isn't it? Yes, uh, we've traditionally ran 225 teams out of here. Okay. MWC changed a few rules this year. They're trying to uniform all of the stops. The other okay. the other tournaments only had 200, so they ran with a 200 team field in each of the tournaments this year. So that's why we're at 200. Okay. What do you think? How has the bite been this week? Sure this week, yeah, the, the bite has been been great for about the last 14 days. Really? The, Even with the cold front? Well, now the cold front just started to move through yesterday. Okay. But up until then, I mean, they're just they're catching fish left and right. Now, as you and I both know, when that cold front comes through, boy, they get they tend to get locked jaw, especially those big heavy females. Yeah. So I think uh, everything that they've tried the last 10 days probably isn't going to work real well today. They're probably going to have to try some new tactics. Okay. So, uh, but that's up to the fishermen. <laughs> yeah, well as, you, well, as both of us know, somebody's going to find them. Oh, yeah, it, without a doubt. They'll, these guys are, are talented enough they they know not just one technique they know a dozen techniques and they're smart enough to know how long to try things until they find something that works and when they find something that works boom they run with it yeah you got some of the best walleye minds in the world oh, absolutely. There right now it's just it's really exciting absolutely this is it's great we we've, we've, we've done this now for 15 years and it's just as exciting right now today as it was the very first year yeah this is the longest standing walleye that's right that's right. We started with MWC. Our first year was 1987. Uh, we are now their longest running tournament. In the uh, same place. Same place, right here. Spring Valley's Bardo Landing for 15 years. And we hope to have another 15 coming yeah, up. Yeah, just looking at, looking at the response, I think it'll be going for longer than 15 years. As long as MWC wants to come back to Spring Valley, Spring Valley would like to have the MWC. Oh, yeah, right it's now. just a great thing. I look forward to this every year. Yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. The whole town does. Well, appreciate you talking to us. I know how busy you are today. We, uh, we've we got a few more meetings to go through. We have all of our different judges or our, our different crew leaders. We like to meet with them after each leg to find out what went on that we can do different and improve the next day so that uh, we meet, we make it go nice and smooth. So. Well, great. You bet. Well, thank you, Bill. No problem, fellas. Good talking to you. Talk to you too. Absolutely. Absolutely.